Hey guys, Hardware Hound here. Day three of CES, and guess who I ran into? Thermal Take. And you, you just you can't ignore this awesome showroom that Thermal Take has going on. So let's start off though with their announcements for CES this year. They have three new cases. They have an aluminum series and a steel series. So if you come over here and take a look at this guy, this is a huge roomy case, very professional design, looks excellent. We've got room for radiator install on the side. We have room for 360 millimeter radiators on the top we have a hard drive cage that can be right here on the top or a PSU shroud but the PSU shroud does have a cutout so you can still see the power supply come over here to the front of this guy though now this is something that kind of surprised me look at this aluminum finish as best as I can describe it I think this is a matte aluminum finish I'm so used to seeing everything brushed aluminum that I'm looking at what looks like this kind of matte aluminum and it looks great it kind of almost gives this gunmetal look to this thing and it looks just excellent in person so they have their aluminum version but they also have their steel version here that will help you know save a little bit on the cost there and so you can see though a lot of the layouts the same the PSU shroud doesn't go quite as far but we still have lots of room for expansion water cooling in fact if we come down and angle up you're gonna see there is two full 200 millimeter fans right there 200 millimeter fans in the front as well so that is a ton of airflow potential on this case and so if we come back here now you can see here when we get to the a700 now this is the big mac daddy of the cases but yeah we could do all kinds of expansion you can see i mean come over here these these front there's, there's two 200 millimeter fans right here in the front and then look there's two in the top as well and look at how they just look small in comparison. This case is huge. So, yeah, I mean, you're talking EATX style motherboard. You got a PSU cover, but you still have all this open room here for reservoirs and insulation. This guy is looking to me a little bit like a custom water cooler's dream right there. So, man, tons of room. Oh, right, and that was the big one. Come back in here. Let's look at the back of that. Look at, the, look at that bracket where the G GPU is mounted. Now, if you get, if you can kind of get close, you see those little screws right there in the top that are right underneath the fan? You just barely see the screw tips there. Yes, you can flip the entire PCI bracket. So you can either have GPUs that face the window or have them installed normally at your choice, and you can flip the whole bracket. You might even be able to fit crossfire SLI GPUs sideways like that, which would be kind of awesome. All right, guys, so just taking a look here. Look, this is part of the thing I wanted to show you. This, this show floor is amazing. Just look at all these cases. Let's keep going back here and just keep going back. They've got so many custom builds here. We've got all this RGB lighting. We've got all these really awesome liquid cooling builds. It just looks great. We have a mod over here. This is one of their smaller display case builds. You can see it's been painted. It looks really cool. We've just, you just look at all their cases that they were showing off. This has just been a lot of fun to see. And it's, this is the kind of stuff that's so great to go to a show floor. So when you get to see all these cool custom PCs that you normally don't ever get to see except in pictures. And yet here I am standing right next to them. And it's really cool. Okay. So a lot of this is stuff they've already released, but we need to get to a really big announcement that Thermal Take has. So I'm going to squeeze in here real quick. Custom water cooled RAM RGB acrylic. Look at that, guys. I know. Is this just like completely over the top? But yeah, look at You've got two plugs here. You can actually put your lick, you can attach their RAM kit to the custom loop and have liquid cooling going to the RAM. Is it over the top? Is it insane? Is it ridiculous? Yes. Do I love it? Of course I do. But here's the key about this. Thermaltake isn't just putting the RAM out there with the block on the top. They actually have a RAM kit. So this right here is Thermaltake's new RAM kit that is compatible with the liquid cooling bracket here. They're going to be starting out with kits that are at 
3200 megahertz and I want to double check and make sure of that and that 3200 megahertz is really just a great sweet stop spot we're talking some good performance but nice cost efficiency as well and if you guys have followed my channel you know I've done the benchmarks I've done the testing boosting your RAM speed to over 4000 megahertz isn't going to net you any noticeable frames per second in gaming so this is a great choice I believe from thermal take now the, the liquid cooling is going to work so that the heat dissipates into the aluminum heat spreaders and then it's going to have a cold plate that's going to be connected to the top of the ram and so that the heat can spread to that cold plate and then go out to the liquid. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of performance that gives. But it's DDR4 guys. I mean, are we really worried that much about it or are we worried about how it looks? Because take a look at this sample build. It just looks great. It kind of adds a lot of extra to the build, especially if you're into custom liquid cooling. You can have these blocks on the RAM that then goes to your CPU, or if you have like a mono block, then you would have RAM and a mono block here as part of your loop, and it would look really cool. Now, guys, I don't know why, but a lot of you guys still use the FX8350. And I'm thinking, well, Ryzen's so affordable. But no, there's a lot of you guys that are buying that chip, overclocking it, having fun. Well, you've got some DDR3 RAM, and what do you probably notice? If you have any RGB at all in your case, you can't find DDR3 RGB RAM. Thermal Take is coming to the rescue. If you want to add RGB lighting to your RAM and you don't have RGB RAM, or if you have DDR4 kits that you don't want to pay money to upgrade but would like to light them up, they have an RGB bracket to add that color and you can add that lighting too. And you can do color spectrums like this or you can do solid colors. It's addressable RGB like everything has been lately. And so, yeah, gives you an option without having to buy an entire new RAM kit. Of course, you know I love that. That's awesome. But hey, you know, for those of you that could use that, that might be a great way to add that little extra to your rig. All right, guys, let's move our way down here. So Thermaltake's been showing off some new addressable fans and stuff, and we've got a lot of things that we've seen a little bit of already. But we got to get to one more thing, and we'll get to, well, two more things, two more things. So we'll get there in just a second. So guys, I love to show off my power supply. I like to cable manage it so that it looks great, and I like it to be shown. But as you all know, the sides of power supplies are usually ugly because there's nothing there. And so we have some RGB rings on the fans, RGB fans in power supplies, but hey, if you have that power supply upside down in your case, you can't see it. If the PSU cover is covering it, you can't see it. And if it's got an ugly label on the side, then does it really matter? Well, it does now because Thermal Take is making the sides of our power supplies beautiful. Take a look at this guy. So we have a tough power PF1 ARGB, and look at what they did here. They gave that lighting effect on the side to make the power supply match everything else that can be going on in your build. So we still have the dual zone addressable, addressable RGB ring. We've got lighting that's going on in the center of the fan and lighting that's going on the top. But, yeah. Right there we have the side. So if you've got this guy in your build and you've got a windowed slot on your power supply, you can actually see it. Now this guy is not only addressable and can handle the lighting on its own, but you can also sync it into your motherboard so it matches your color scheme and all your parts. This, this is the kind of thing I love to see. I've got all the RGB in the world and there can't be enough of it except maybe there's something that we just need to RGB because we can't. Yep, Thermal Take did it, guys, because who else was going to? Let's just be honest. An RGB gaming desk. <laughs> oh, man. I know. It's completely over the top. Why should anybody do it? Because people like me love it. That's why. So we have a RGB addressable lighting strip across, but this isn't just an RGB desk. We've got kind of a soft matte pad here on the top that, well, that might be just Thermal Take's pad actually. It looks like the desk below is solid. So you can easily have a gaming mouse on the desk surface as well, but you can also put your pad on there if you want. It's also an electric electronic desk so you can actually raise it and lower it, which is pretty cool. Now, it can be a standing desk, be a sitting desk. That's healthy, but who cares about health? 
we care about gaming, right? So I'm over here playing more video games on this week of CES than I ever get to do at home. And we have Overwatch here. And if you can kind of see, we've got the main screen up. And there's all this yellow lighting going on. Let me go back, go back. Let's go to the training mode real quick. So if I go practice range. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not the one I wanted to go to, but, well, yeah, okay, no, this was the one I wanted to go to. Do you see what just happened here? The whole desk changed, and the lighting in the PC changed. And let's go to the next character. And everything changed. Let's go to the next character. And everything changed again. So you guys already saw my coverage with Razer. They have Synapse, where they can synchronize everything to the gaming experience. Well, Thermal Take is synchronizing this desk to Razer Synapse. And so as you are playing a game, if you are using those game modes, you can see the color change. You hit an explosion, your whole desk and room and PC is going to light up orange for the explosion, let you know something's happening. You're going to see colliding zones matching your gaming experiences for the games that support this. Now, Razer had mentioned there's 150 games that support this already, though, which is pretty darn awesome. So for those of you guys who really love that full immersive experience and love that ambient lighting, that's really awesome. Now, I want to mention one more thing, guys, because this is something that can get overlooked. I know this seems over the top and ridiculous, but there's actually a really key element to this. When you're talking about eye strain and damaging your vision, one of the big keys that does that is when the lighting that's on your monitor is different from the lighting that's in the room around you. That's what causes eye strain. So typically in your room, you're going to have some incandescent lighting, and this is putting out like a kind of more blue light right into your eyes, and the two different lightings that are kind of coming from your peripheral versus what's right in front of your face causes eye strain, causes eye problems, can even potentially damage your vision. With this kind of lighting setup, as much as I hate to try to dig for a practical use, but I'm, I'm not digging here, all of this lighting matching your monitor is going to help reduce eye strain. It's just going to. Because if you've got a lot of blue going on and dark in there, then this desk and this build is lighting up around you, and it's matching the lighting into your peripheral as well as right in front of you. It's going to help with your eye strain. This could actually be the healthy way to go, as weird as that sounds. So in the end, it's just awesome. That's why we love it. But it even has some really good eye benefits as well. And that's just something that I always thought was kind of interesting about this. All right, guys, that's everything I've got for Thermal Take for now. I will, if there's any details I missed, I will add those later. I have my link to my site in the description below. So check out my site. I will be adding some of my videos there and some extra coverage and fill some holes. This is CES Day 3. We are getting close to wrapping up. I'll catch you soon.